France has participated in the Eurovision Song Contest 58 times since its debut at the very first contest in 1956. France is one of only seven countries to be present at the first contest, and has only been absent from two contests in its history, missing the 1974 and 1982 contests. France has won the contest five times, and along with Germany, Italy, Spain and the United Kingdom is one of the big five, who are automatically allowed to participate in the final because they are the five biggest financial contributors to the European Broadcasting Union. France first won the contest in 1958 with Doors, Mon Amour, performed by André Clavo. In the 1960s, they won three times, with Tom Pillaby, performed by Jacqueline Boyer in 1960. Un premier amour, performed by Isabelle Aubrette in 1962 and Un jour, and Un fun, performed by Frida Bocquera, who won in 1969 in a four-way tie with the Netherlands, Spain and the United Kingdom. France's fifth victory came in 1977, when Marie Miriam won with the song, Le Soe Lone Fon. France have also finished second four times, with Paul de Jardin in 1957, Catherine Ferry in 1976, Joël Ursule in 1990 and Amina in 1991, who lost out to Sweden's Corolla in a tie-break. After reaching the top five in 24 contests in the 20th century, France has had less success in the 21st century, only making the top five twice with Natasha Street Pierre finishing fourth in 2001 and Sandrine Francois finishing fifth in 2002. France have failed to reach the top 10 in 12 of the last 13 contests, the exception being Patricia Kaa's finishing eighth in 2009. In 2014, they finished last for the first time when Twin Twin received only two points, one point from Finland and one point from Sweden. Organization Several French broadcasters have been used to present Eurovision in the country, formerly RTF, ORTF and TF1. Since 1983, France Eurovisions has been responsible for France's participation in the contest, with the final being broadcast on France 2 and France 3, and the semi-final which France votes in broadcast on France 4 and later France 0. The first semi-final in 2004 was not broadcast. From 2015, France 2 resumed the responsibility of organizing an entry and broadcasting the final and from 2016, both semi-finals will be broadcast by France 4. The change is an attempt to secure better ratings and results in forthcoming contests. Radio coverage has been provided, although not every year, by France Inter from 1971 to 1998 and since 2001, France Blue. In 1982, RTL Radio transmitted the contest due to the country's absence that year. France has often changed the selection process used in order to find the country's entry for the contest. Either a national final or internal selection has been held by the broadcaster at the time. Contest history France is one of the most successful countries in the Eurovision, winning the contest five times, coming second four times and coming third seven times. France was ranked first in number of victories without interruptions from 1960 to 1993. Moreover, Amina was close to victory with the song Le Dernier Qui a Parlé in 1991, when she finished in joint first place. Therefore, the countback rule applied, but both countries had an equal number of 12 points, but the victory went to Sweden, when France had fewer 10-point scores. Today, with the new rules, France would have won the competition, because they received points from more countries than Sweden. One year before, France was also close to winning with Joël Ursule performing Serge Gainsbourg's song, White and Black Blues. The song finished in equal second place with Ireland's entry. However, in recent years, the French results have been somewhat disappointing. 
Since 1998, when the televoting was invented, France has almost always been in the bottom 10 countries in the final, coming 18th, 19th, 22nd, 23rd, 24th and 25th. France finished in last place, for the first time in their Eurovision history, in 2014 with only two points. Yet, France have had some good results during the 21st century. In 2001, Canadian singer Natasha Street Pierre came forth for France with her song Je and I came on aim, being the favourite to win the contest by fans and odds. This good result was carried into the 2002 contest. When Sandrine Francois came fifth with Ilfode attempts and received the Marcel Bezencon International Press Award for the best entry of that year. Finally, the positive experience with Sébastien Tellier in 2008 created considerable interest among the French show business for the contest, which resulted in the fact that Eurovision is seen now in the French media as a great advertising campaign and it has been decided that big names will represent France in the future. With these ambitions, the French superstar Patricia Kaas represented France in the Eurovision Song Contest 2009 in Moscow, Russia. Kaas is one of the most successful French-speaking singers in the world and she has sold over 16 million records worldwide. She ended in eighth place. KAAs received the Marcel Bezencon Artistic Award, which was voted on by previous winners and presented to the best artist. Absences since their debut in 1956 France has only missed two contests, in 1974 and 1982. In 1974, after selecting a singer and song to represent him at the contest, France withdrew after the president of France Georges Pompidou died in the week of the contest. If they had participated in the contest, France would have been represented by Danny with the song La Vie Van GT Sink Ends. In November 1981, TF1 declined to enter the Eurovision Song Contest for 1982, with the head of entertainment, Pierre Bautilla, saying, the absence of talent and the mediocrity of the songs were where annoyance set in. Eurovision is a monument to inanity, sometimes translated as drivel. Antenna 2 took over the job due to public reaction of TF1's withdrawal, hosting a national final to select their entry as well from the 1983 contest. France and their Big Five Since 1999, four particular countries have automatically qualified for the Eurovision final, regardless of their positions on the scoreboard in previous contests. They earned this special status by being the four biggest financial contributors to the EBU. These countries are the United Kingdom, Germany, France and Spain. Due to their untouchable status in the contest, these countries became known as the Big Four. Italy returned to the contest in 2011, thus becoming part of a Big Five. Contestants Table key winner second place third place last place note the full results for the first contest in 1956 are unknown, only the winner was announced. The official Eurovision site lists all the other songs as being placed second. Voting history As of 2015, France's voting history is as follows. Hostings Marcel Bezencon Awards Press Award Artistic Award Composer Award Commentators and Spokespersons since their debut in 1956 French television have sent their best television presenters and entertainers including Pierre Chernier, Elia Cuto and Zitrone, Robert Beauvais, Olivier Minna, Michel Drucker, Patrick Sabatier and Laurent Boyer. Every year until 1979 Monaco shared the French commentary. Photo Gallery André Clavo in Hilversum, Guy Mardel in Naples. Dan Arbres in Oslo, Joe Nathan Serrada in Istanbul, Les Fatals Picards in Helsinki, Sebastian Tellier in Belgrade, Patricia Kaas during rehearsals in Moscow, Amarie Vassili in Dusseldorf, Angan in Baku, Amandine Bourgeois at Malmo, Twin Twin at Copenhagen.